Hello, it's Rebecca from BritScent. When students learn pronunciation, they often focus on individual sounds, such as th, or r, or la. But intonation patterns are a very important part of pronunciation that often goes unaddressed. This will be the first in a short series where I will be introducing and giving you some tips on some common intonation patterns. Before we look at today's intonation pattern, we need to know the difference between rising intonation and falling intonation. This is to do with the rise and fall of your voice and the pitch that you use when you're speaking. So here's a couple of examples. First of all, rising intonation. Hello, I'm Rebecca from Britsent. And falling intonation. Hello, I'm Rebecca from Britsent. So, as you might have heard, the second example sounds more natural. Why is this? Because in the second example, I use falling intonation, which we normally use when a speaker has finished making the statement. In the first example, with the rising intonation, it makes it sound as if the speaker has more to say. So, for example, the speaker might be going on to say, Hello, I'm Rebecca from Britsend, and today I'm here to teach you about intonation. OK, let's look at another example. Rising intonation. Today I'm going to meet my friends. And falling intonation. Today I'm going to meet my friends. Again, you will see that the falling intonation sounds more natural because this is a statement. So, hopefully now you understand the difference between rising intonation and falling intonation and why it's important to know when to use which. So, today's intonation pattern is for listing things when you're saying a list out loud. Let's say you have a shopping list and you need to buy three things. Apples, bananas, oranges. Normally when you make a list, you'll use rising intonation for each item on that list, except the last where you'll use falling intonation. So listen to this example. I need to buy apples, bananas and oranges. Hopefully you heard that with apples and bananas my intonation rose, but with oranges it fell. This time I'm going to list things I need to do around the house. I need to clean my bedroom, I need to wash the dishes, and I need to do the laundry. Listen to it how, how it sounds when I put it together in the list. Today I need to clean my bedroom, wash the dishes, and do the laundry. Hopefully you heard that for the first two items my intonation rose, whereas on the last item my intonation fell to indicate that I'd finished speaking. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and I hope this video helps with your pronunciation. For more information you can look at our website or check out the reviews on Trustpilot. See you next time. Bye bye.